Hello, you are welcome how to solve this problem x over x plus 1 all square plus x over x minus 1 all square equals to 12. Now from here, let's call this first bracket a. Then we have a square then plus we call this second bracket as b. So we have b square equals to 12. And then from this identity that is when we have a plus b all square when we expand this this one give us a square plus 2 a b plus b squared and from here we can see that here a square plus b square when we take a square plus b square on one side that will now be equal to a plus b all squared then minus 2ab so we can write a square plus b square in form of a plus b all square minus 2ab then our expression here will now becomes a plus b and this is a x over x plus 1 is a also x over x minus 1 is b so we have a plus b that is x over x plus 1 then plus b that's x over x minus 1 then square we then minus minus so we write a square plus b square in form of this the minus 2 times a b that's x over x plus 1 that's a times b, that's x over x minus 1, then equals to 12. So we have written a square plus b square in form of a plus b or square minus 2ab. Then from here we can simplify. When we simplify the bracket here, the SCM inside the bracket gives us x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. And then when x plus 1 goes here, become, we mean x minus 1. So x minus 1 times x, that will become x into bracket x minus 1. Then also plus x minus 1 goes here, we mean x plus 1. That's x times x plus 1. Then all square here. Then we have minus 2 times x times x. That's 2x square. Then over x plus 1 times x minus 1 we have x plus 1 times x minus 1 then equals to 12 so we can simplify further from here by expanding this bracket here we have x square minus x then we have plus x square plus x then over expansion of this we give us x square minus 1 so what we have in the denominator here become x square minus 1 then all square minus 2x square then over also we have x square minus 1 here which is equal to 12. Then in the next step also we can reduce this we have minus x cancel plus x and we have x square plus x square that gives us 2x square then over x square minus 1 all square now then minus 2x square over x square minus 1 which is equal to 12 then we can see something from here that we have 2x square y square minus 1 common so we can use a letter to represent that so when we use letter u now let u be equal to 2x square over x square minus 1 then we can rewrite this equation as u square minus u equals to 12 and then taking 12 to this side to form an equation this will become u square minus u minus 12 equals to 0 by the time we factor this we can factorize and here we have u square plus 3u minus 4u minus 12 equals to 0 and from here 
what is common between these two is u so u into bracket u plus 3 and minus 4 common here minus 1 into bracket u plus 3 as well equals to 0 so that we have u plus 3 common then we have u minus 4 equals to 0 so we have two possible cases here we have u plus 3 equals to 0 also we have u minus 4 equals to 0 from here u will be equals to minus 3 and here u will be equals to 4 and uh, what we use as u is 2x square over x square minus 1 that's u that's what we use u to represent and this is equal to minus 3 here and also on this side we have 2x square over x square minus 1 as u then equals to 4 so when we solve it on this side we can cross multiply so this is over 1 here so we have 2x squared times 1, so that's 2x squared equals to minus 3, we multiply this, that will give us minus 3x squared, then plus 3. When minus 3 multiply this, then we can collect the like terms. We have 2x squared here, minus 3 can become plus, that's plus 3x squared, then equals to 3. So 2x squared plus 3x squared, that will give us 5x squared equals to 3 then divide both sides by 5 we have x squared now equals to 3 over 5 and to get x here we take the square root on both sides square root on this side square root on this side so square cancel square root here then here we have x equals to plus or minus square root of 3 over 5 so we have two values of x here one is plus and one is minus and also in this side we can get the value of x by crossing multiply as well. We have 2x squared times 1, that's 2x squared. Then equals to 4 multiply this, that's 4x squared minus 4 now. Also, take the like terms together. We can take four, minus 4 here, that becomes plus 4. And take 2 plus 2x squared there. So it become 4x squared minus 2x squared. Then here we have 4 equals to. 2x squared divide both sides by 2 so that 2 we cancel to here and we have x squared left there which is equals to 4 divided by 2 that's 2 also take the square root on both sides and we have square cancel square root here we have x now equals to plus or minus square root of 2 also similarly here we have two value of x we have root 2 and also minus root 2 so all together we have four solutions here and thank you for watching don't forget to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel see you in the next class and bye for now